Oh, we really are so happy to have you back. <clears throat> uh, well, just before we start, we really are buckling down on the whole no glasses <laughs> policy. And we are not starting this again. <laughs> Twenty bloody twenty one. Well, twenty twenty was such a hoot, I love it, wait. Well, let's get one thing straight, okay? I do not want to talk about isolation. I do not want to talk about. And I most certainly do not wish to talk about the vaccination. Let's get that out of the way. Right. We may begin. Okay. Well, a lot has changed, and last time you were very relaxed about the situation. Yes, well. I I'm very relaxed. I'm still very much relaxed. Well, because nobody has a bloody clue what's going on, dear. No idea. Is somebody playing a French horn? Um, what in good God is going on? Well, we do have some very creative musicians nearby. Is this place not soundproof? I'm not sure. Got me in here doing interviews and you've got an entire orchestra somewhere down the flaming hallway. Please, sort it out, darling, sort it out. One minute is hide your kids, hide your husband, hide everybody. The next minute is it's eat, eat out to help out. Then it's get those children out of school. Okay, it's a breeding ground in there. The children are single-handedly killing everybody. Then, of course, it's make sure we get everybody vaccinated and get everything back to normality. And I'm thinking, do you know what? Do you know what? Fine. Somebody talking some sense. Hmm? Then they say, well, actually, we can't be 100% sure that you will even be protected after said vaccination from the virus. You will still actually have to wear masks and the, the space suits and the regalia. We can't be held responsible for any side effects. Um, what? Well, oh, wow. I have no idea what anybody is talking about. Does anybody? So do you know what? I just don't worry about it. Worrying cause wrinkles. Okay, they cause wrinkles. And now you know I am not a person who messes around with wrinkles, darling. Okay, do you see any wrinkles? Darling, that wasn't rhetorical. Do you see any wrinkles? Oh, um, no. Right. Sorry, I just thought you didn't want to talk about the lockdown and vaccinations. Okay, well, everything is so uncertain at the moment. Do you think we'll ever get any clarity? Well, honestly, nobody is agreeing on anything. You know, I think that all last year has been some elaborate rules to pit everyone against each other. I mean, everybody's got a different opinion on everything. It's just anarchy in my WhatsApp group, right? It's completely, what do they call it, popping off. At the minute, half of them are saying the sky is pink. The other half is saying, How dare you say the sky is pink? It's a chocolate rainbow. What is anybody talking about anymore? I mean, everybody quite literally hates each other at the minute. Now, I hated people before 2020, and now it's just common. And you know that I, for one, am the first, okay, and I mean the furthest thing from common. That word isn't even in my vocabulary. It's a wonder that I was even able to find that word who can say it. What is that? Not me. But I'm gonna have to look through my phone to find some fake friends to rekindle with. And you know that's the last thing I want to be doing. I don't actually have time to worry. I don't have time to be nervous. I don't have time to think what could happen, you know, who is going to say something to me that I may not like. You know, people have always said things that I don't like. People just open their mouth and I don't like it. I don't have time for the bickering, darling, for the worrying, for the confusion, for the flip-flopping, for the back and forward for the unknown, for the unsure, for the uncertainty. You know, there comes a time, and this is for my younger viewers, and you'll think that uh, people are there for you, that people care, that uh, they're so lovely, they'd never do that to me. They would, they would do it to you, they would do it worse, they would do it horrendously, because they don't care. Sorry, am I corrupting the children? Well, I haven't got the time for it. I've got far more better things to be worrying about. Like, what kind of going to paint my nails after? Because you know I love nail painting. And then um, I'm unsure, actually. I don't know what the next one is. I've got a lovely move going on at the minute. But if I change it, I change it. 
I am not one to be deluded about friends, okay? You have to keep them at arm's length at all times. The bitches. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, well, what do you think about this talk about how we should be spying on our neighbors? You know, making sure no one's breaking the rules. Spying on your neighbors? And is that new? I wouldn't tell anyone to stop with the, um, poking and, and peeking on their neighbors. I think it's important that one watches over another, you know, um, no one person is enough to govern another person, but I think we can always keep an eye on what our neighbors are doing. Yes, Gertrude? Yes, dear. Uh, I know about your, um, filthy habits. Won't say too much more on that one, but just know that I know, dear. Know that I know. Okay, well, let's move on from that. Um, so any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions? Same as always, darling. Stay fabulous. I know nothing else. <laughs> of course. Um, so have you given to any charities this year? <sighs> darling, I've done charity. Okay, I've done charity, but you know, you can't actually pull it everyone out. Okay, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. Some people actually thrive in poverty. You can lead the donkey to water, but you, you can't can force it to drink it. Drink it. Well, that's it. Exactly. Exactly. So I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, darling. That being said, there was a year when all I did was give. I gave to every charity I knew the name of. Every single one. And did I see a change? No. All I saw was the next year they came with their begging buckets with nothing to show for it, darling. Honestly, I'm quite frankly over it. Just pocketing the money, if you ask me. But it's almost as if they want you to have nothing. And you to become the charity, because let me tell you, if it was the other way around, I wonder if anybody would give anything for me. Doubt it. As a black woman living in the UK, um, have you noticed any racism, like, in the workplace? Black where? Black, 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 black where? Where? Is that the adjective you're actually trying to describe me as? The same one that we use to describe sorrow, nothingness, sadness, and the bottomless pit of death? You better find another adjective to describe this fabulousness, darling. Please. I am a soul, darling, a soul. Shining bright like diamond. Well, surely you believe that black lives matter, don't you? Oh, black lives matter, all lives matter, no lives matter, the ants lives matter, whoever the bloody hell wants their life to matter matters. Goodness gracious, I will not be dragged into this malarkey about colour, darling. Right? Labels, labels, labels. I spit on them. Well, not literally, figuratively, I'm not a mongrel. The stress, the anxiety, the... Oh... Shut up. More important things to think about, darling, like what colour I'm going to paint my nails this evening. Who's that then? Oh. One of the fake friends? I think not. Anyway, next question. Um, do you ever think that you're being a bit too harsh and that some people might be offended by some of the things you say? If one is to survive, one must speak the truth, darling. Sometimes people don't want to hear it, but you know what? <laughs> they can stuff it, quite frankly. Fair enough. How do you think the social distancing has affected children's social skills at this time? Oh, well, they're buggered, God bless them. I mean, huge congratulations, everybody. We've created a generation that absolutely hates people. Okay, all they're trying to do is push people away the moment they step within their one meter radius. You so much as walk near one of the brats and they're screaming their heads off. Tearing their hair out, screaming from the rooftops, crying for money. But let me tell you, those children, you're safe, darling. You're safe, darling, because uh, there's not one part of me that wants to be anywhere near you. So I'll say that much, the kids, they're fine. They're buggered, but they'll be fine. Because the generation of people that hate people sounds horrendous. Sounds like me. And there can only be one me. It's 
Let's be clear on that. Okay, well, that's it. I don't have any more questions. Yeah, we got to the end. That's lovely. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming in and uh, stay safe. Oh, never mind. Stay safe. Stay sane, dear. Stay sane. Are you keeping sane? There's a lot of people that are really battling with mental health in this time. It is really, really going swept under the carpet. You're not ending any notice. But I want you to know that I see you. You are seen. And there are people that you can talk to. Not me, mind you. Not me. But there are people that you can talk to. And what you should remember is this. You are fabulous. Ha, 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 ha.